The following stories are real. All suspects are morons until proven otherwise. This is a Came From Evansville Watch. Yes, it is. An eight-day edition because we have a holiday this week. Yeah. So Kat had to go through eight days of Evansville Watch. Is that like a labor of love for you, Kat, or is that is that a pain in the butt? No, it's kind of a labor of love. I, I enjoy it. I find random things as I'm going through, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Evans, <laughs> Evansville Watch is a Facebook and Twitter organization. They monitor the police radio here in Evansville. When something happens, they will tweet or status update about it so that the community is aware and informed as to what's going on. Sometimes those things are hysterically funny. Sometimes, yes. And Kat pulls those and we talk about those stories that are really just plain Evansville. So Kat, what has come from Evansville Watch over the past eight days or so? All right, Rob, remember I read these as they're written. Some of them are strange, some of them are funny, some of them just plain Evansville. And we're going to start with 2100 block of Ravenswood disorderly conduct. A group of 10 to 20 juveniles look like they're about to fight. Okay, they're given those those pre-fight warnings. I guess so. Is there a ring announcer who's introducing everybody? Is that how they know people I, are about to fight? I think there was a let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Some jock somewhere. jams. Yeah. Uh, fight in progress, East Tennessee Street. Two males, one guy spray painted in the... One guy sprayed... Why am I... I, I can't speak today. Take out of it. Don't even worry Hold about on. it. Hold <sighs> on. Okay. Fight in progress. East Tennessee Street. Two males. One guy sprayed spray paint in the other's face and tried to set him on fire. Oh, my God. Is did you cover no- that in real news? We did. Yeah, that's what I thought. But that's just insane. Welcome to Evansville. That is, uh, that's how Evansville works. We spray paint you in the eye and then try to light you on fire. Suspicious vehicle. 2400 block of Conlin Avenue. Officer dispatched for a suspicious maroon car circling the block continuously. Huh. That's just creepy. A little creepy, I agree. Unit block of East Virginia. Caller advises her neighbor stole her garbage can. Again, EPD en route. That again makes it like a funny story to an Evansville story. Yes. That If you want the difference between funny and an Evansville story, it's the word again. It's the word again, absolutely. Person down laying beside a scooter, 4,000 block of North First Avenue at Target on the parking lot, EPD en route. Do you think they're intoxicated? Possibly drunk. We don't know for sure, but he's fallen off of his scooter, (laughs) which normally sober people have anyway. Right. Theft in progress. 700 block of North 3rd Avenue. Male taking privacy fence from a home. Caller knows owner, and he does not have permission. EPD en route. He did not get permission for his privacy fence to be stolen? No, I guess not. (laughs) All right, sure. I have three more. Report of an armed female trying to fight other females near the Pony Gentleman's Club, 400 block of East Sycamore Street. One is brandishing a knife toward another female, EPD en route. Neat. You think somebody got mad, caught their husband looking at something they didn't want him looking at? I don't know what could what could start a fight. Hmm. All right, two more. This one reads, sharing from an EW follower. Spotted two crazy buffet managers chasing a guy who dined and dashed. <laughs> Last seen running down Burkhart Road. Joke's on you, sir. You dropped your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> that what a scene that must have been. I see that with the Benny Hill music. Yes, I do too. I see it playing out just like that. Um, and I have one last one that actually was tweeted this morning as I was finishing up gathering. It came from Evansville Watch. Report of a male taking his morning bath. In the fountain downtown, EPD en route. Just saw that one. Mm-hmm. Taking his morning bath at the fountain at Hades Corner. Yeah. That is absolutely Evansville. Definitely y- Evansville. You nailed it. But hey, at least he was taking his morning bath. At least he was taking a bath. Do you think it includes soap? Honestly. It's possible. I think it is possible. Or like shampoo, too. I don't, I don't know Maybe. for sure, but it's possible. Do you think he was fully nude? I don't... I don't I would think so. I would I think mean, so how too. How do you take a bath? I take them fully nude, but I mean, I'm also not doing it outside in public at Haney's Corner. Well, there's that, but I mean, I don't. Should it now be called Haney's Corner? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it needs to be called Haney's Corner. 